Thank you for purchasing the Rock and Swing 2-in-1 from Bright Starts. This video will guide you in assembling your Rock and Swing 2-in-1. If you have additional questions, please refer to your instruction manual or call our helpful consumer services department at 1-800-230-8190. This video should not be used in lieu of your instruction manual. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver and four C-size batteries to assemble your swing. Please be sure to remove all plastic and foam packaging before you begin. Assembling the swing frame. The first step in assembling your rock and swing two-in-one is to assemble the swing frame. First, locate parts number one, the rear base tube and parts number two and number three, the left and right rear legs. Insert the legs into each side of the rear base tube. You will hear an audible click when the locking pins are properly connected. Please pull to check for a secure connection. Now, locate parts four and five, the left and right swing hub. Be sure that the short tubes are pulled out on both sides, creating a 90 degree angle then, insert those into the left and right rear legs and make sure the locking pins are securely connected. Here's a tip. The battery box at the bottom of the swing frame and the control panel on the right swing hub both go on the same side. Next, connect the two ends of the cord on the right side of the swing frame under the control panel. Now, locate part number six, the front base tube and insert it into both sides in the front of the swing. Again, be sure that the locking pins click for a secure connection. Next, locate part number seven, the U-shaped brace bar, and insert it into each side of the swing arms. Listen for the click and pull to check the connection to make sure the locking pins are in place. Next, we will add the toy bar arm, part number eight. Insert it into the space provided at the top of the left side of the swing. Here's a tip. It will be easier to insert the toy bar arm if it is parallel to the front left leg. The toy bar pivots counterclockwise after locking it into place. Assembling the seat. Now it's time to create the seat frame. Locate parts number 11 and 12, the left and right rear rocker legs. Join these two parts using the locking pin. Then, locate parts number 13 and 14, the left and right seat frame sides. Insert the frame sides into the rocker legs. You will hear an audible click when the locking pins are properly connected. Please pull to check for a secure connection. Here's a tip. The flat sides of the seat frame hubs face inside the seat frame, towards each other, and the large buttonholes face outward. Now locate the fabric seat pad, part number 17. The seat back tube, part number 16, is already inserted into the fabric seat pad. Insert both sides of the seat back tubes into each side of the seat frame. The seat back tube should curve slightly upward and can only be inserted in this direction. You should hear them click into place. Check to see that the pin has locked into place on the inside of the seat frame hubs. Be sure that the tube curves slightly upward and insert the rocker footrest tube, part number 15, into the slots on each side of the seat frame. The tube will not lock into place if curved downwards. The footrest tube only fits one way. Unbuckle the two straps in the back of the seat pad and pull the footrest portion down over the frame tube at the front of the seat pad. Then, rebuckle the straps on each side on the back of the swing from top to bottom. Here's a tip. Make sure the straps are not wrapped around the tube inside the seat fabric. The straps should buckle in a straight line and not be hindered by the tubes. Now your product is ready for use. Add the rocker seat to the swing frame by lifting and placing it on the swing arms from the front. Then, lower the seat slightly so that the buttons on each side of the seat lock into place. You should hear an audible click, but always check to make sure that the seat is locked securely before placing baby into the seat. Here's a tip. 
The back legs of the rocker fit underneath the U-shaped brace bar in the back. The swing cannot lock into place if the rocker legs are above the U-shaped brace. Installing the batteries. Locate the battery door on the back right leg of the swing base. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the battery compartment door and add four C-size batteries as indicated. Then, replace the compartment door before use. How to remove the seat for rocker mode. While standing in front of the swing, simply depress the buttons on each side of the seat pad simultaneously and lift upward to lift the seat off the swing frame. Place the seat on the floor to be used as a rocker or convert it to a stationary seat. Converting the rocker seat to a stationary seat. When the seat is being used as a rocker, independent from the swing frame, you can convert it to become a stationary seat by twisting the rubber stabilizer feet on both sides of the back of the frame to be parallel to the left and right rocker legs, reclining the seat. To recline the seat into one of the three recline positions, locate the triggers on either side of the seat frame. These triggers are located in the center on each side of the seat pad. Pull in on both sides simultaneously and adjust the seat forward or backward. Folding the swing for travel and storage. First, remove the seat from the swing frame. Each side of the swing makes an A shape. Under the tip of the A, you will find a trigger on each side. While standing in front of the swing, press in and up on the triggers to release the swing legs. The legs will fold when you lift slightly towards you. Remove seat pad for cleaning. Locate the seat pad and unbuckle all the connections by feeding the harness through the buckle slots until the buckle and the shoulder straps are no longer connected on the back of the seat pad. Repeat on both sides. Then, detach the clips on the back of the seat pad. Slide the footrest portion of the seat pad off the footrest tube. Using a screwdriver, push in on the locking clips on the inside of the seat frame tubes and remove the seat back tube from the seat frame. Now the fabric will slide off of the frame for easy cleaning. Here's a tip. The seat pad can be removed and replaced easier when the swing recline is at the most upright position. When replacing the seat pad after cleaning, feed the seat back tube through the top of the seat fabric, making sure that the frame curves slightly upward on both the seat back and foot rest. Once the fabric is attached to the seat back tube, the seat back frame can be replaced into the seat frame using the locking pins on each side of the seat frame the same way as the first time it was assembled. Note, please be sure to continue the correct assembly of the seat pad by rebuckling and reconnecting the straps on the back of the seat pad. Thank you for purchasing the Rock and Swing 2-in-1. Please remember that we are continuously improving our products, so certain features or fashions shown in this video may differ slightly than the product currently available. If you have additional questions, please refer to your instruction manual or call our helpful consumer services department at 1-800-230-8190.